Say hi. No. Say this is the life of mommy. Mommy's always playing with me. Right? Because I'm always all over the place. I'm watching hi. what? Tinkerbell? It's Labor Day weekend and I haven't vlogged this entire weekend. Unfortunately, I have been super busy. And yesterday I went out with a co-worker of mine to dinner and I didn't vlog either. I didn't even vlog me getting ready. Nothing. And today I'm here at the mall with my mom because she asked me to bring her to Bath and Body Works because she needed to pick up some stuff. But I'm actually going to hit up, um, I was going to hit up Sephora but I forgot my VIB coupon at home. So I'm going to actually go home and come back a little bit later. And also forgot my 50 point coupon from my Play by Sephora box. So I'm going to bring that back too because I'm never on this side of town unfortunately. So I try to hit up any stores that I have coupons for when I'm over here. So I'm actually going to go into Victoria's Secret. I have um, a coupon, a $10 reward that I'm going to be using. And they have a really good Labor Day sale going on. So I'm going to go in there and I have some coupons and some city cash for New York and Company. So I'm going to go over there and see if I could buy a couple shirts or something like that. And that's pretty much it. So, I know, I'm such a bad vlogger, but I don't really have such a exciting life. So, for me, vlogging is like, whatever. But, yeah. We are getting ready to go to school. You recording? I am. So, good morning, everybody. This is our routine, getting ready to go to school. Uh, right? Right? Yep. Every day Oops. routine. Right, Ethan? Yep. So, you guys ready for school after a three-day weekend? No. Yes. <laughs> Figure out what your brother did to my radio. Oh no! That was going to be really, really bad. Well, yeah. I get up and I drop them off at their school, and then I come back home and I get ready to spend the day with two babies. This is a day, a day in the life of a mom of five children. Basically, it's like mom and baby day. Every day. Every day. And the babies think that when mommy leaves, they don't ever see her yet when they're wearing her 24 <laughs> 7. Excuse me. So, are you guys excited to see your friends after the weekend? Yeah. And are you gonna go and do what I asked you and take that toy back? I hope you put it in your book bag. Uh, of course. Okay, just make sure. I will check their book bag after school. I always do. Hmm. You're gonna give it to that kid. I. Get gas after. I'll get gas later on. And I think I'm gonna go to Walmart when I pick you up dressed to go pick up the potatoes for mashed potatoes. Yeah. And it hurts? Mm -hmm. So I think when I pick you guys up in the afternoon, we'll go to Walmart so I can pick up the potatoes. Okay. Cause my arm, my back is hurting me and my shoulder yeah, with that twisted should. muscle. It says to correct and sign, which means she's expecting it. On Wednesday. We have to Wednesday. 
because I didn't get to fully look over it. I changed all the answers. You were supposed to do the problems on a separate piece of paper so that she can see the correction. Uh, I did the problems on the same paper. I know, and you erased the wrong answer. You're supposed to leave the wrong answers and then do the problems on a separate piece of paper with the right answers so she could see what was wrong and how you went ahead and did the right one. I know. So for the next time, you know what you need to do. Now hopefully I have better scores on the reading one because I've been waiting for that one. And that should be a better score. That's not going to happen to my thing. So, All right, guys. Bye, babies. I will see you this afternoon. Have a good day at school. Okay. Please behave. No bad notes. Okay. And do what I asked you. Okay. Bye. now they're off to school and I know I look like a hot mess my hair is not done I got my glasses on I got a hoodie actually I should probably just put my hoodie on like this because my hair looks like a hot mess the humidity in Florida has been ridiculous so it's just been a mess probably gonna straighten my hair later today I was gonna do it yesterday but my mom came over and she wanted me to take her to the mall so we went to the mall I didn't really vlog at the mall like I wanted to because I had the babies with me and I had my six year old and he's just a hot mess so yes um, day in our life so yeah just dropped the kids off at school and then now I am headed back home because then my when I get home my 12 year old starts his journey to school because he walks himself to school and I basically wait till the babies get up if they're not up when I get home and then there are some dishes there that I have to wash that my lovely husband left me from last night and then um, make myself some coffee because I'm gonna need it and then yeah spend the day with the babies basically figure out what i'm gonna do for dinner but you guys already heard i'm gonna be making mashed potatoes and some macaroni and cheese i got some baked chicken that's there that they guy they can eat so i'm just making that for them and then that's pretty much it okay so i am back home sorry for my frizzy curly hair but yeah so i'm gonna get ready to make some coffee Usually when I get back home, I make a bottle of milk with a little bit of cereal for my baby. I get a sippy cup for my two-year-old, and then I get my coffee going. They're both still sleeping, so we are just going to make my coffee. Excuse the mess in my house. I do have to clean, able, clean up a little bit. My baby usually has one cup of milk, one eight ounce cup of milk per day, maybe a cup and a half, it all kind of depends, um, of 1% milk, and then my baby will drink regular milk throughout the day, probably about three times with his food. to my coffee maker and we're only making coffee for me so I put two cups and put the water in all my bottles and sippy cups and these filters unfortunately my husband brought me and these are too big so I have to like finagle with this so I finagle it to where you know, it'll be able to keep the coffee. 
And this is my coffee jar. And this is Bustelo coffee, which is a Spanish coffee. And we put one nice heaping spoon of coffee. And I always put like a little bit more force of habit. Like a quarter. Yep. And make sure it's nice and distributed. So that when it steams, it comes out nice and rich. Pull that over. And then just make sure everything is good. Pop the top down. And coffee's on. And I wait till the coffee's almost done. And then I do have some dishes to do. This is from my husband's dinner yesterday and the kids' breakfast today. But I am probably gonna be really lazy and not do dishes till later. While my coffee is nice and hot and brewing, we are going to take a peek at the babies upstairs. I'm gonna take these upstairs because I can't carry everything upstairs. I some fruity pebbles. And let's head up. Excuse the mess. I do live with five boys and a husband. Sleeping. My coffee is brewed. So now we're going to warm milk. This is hot. And I'm gonna get ready to actually put my coffee together. So this is cafe con leche. So hot milk. And what I usually do is I like to put my sugar in first. Some people put the sugar second last. I put it first. So we're gonna do light and sweet so that's why I put three in and I kind of just mix the sugar with the warm milk get it nice and mixed in there and then I take my coffee and pour it in that looks beautiful and then I will shut the coffee off I usually just have one cup of coffee now, and then I'll have a second cup of coffee later on today. Mm, perfect. And that's it. Cafe con leche. So, yeah. That's the, the morning for me. Morning routine. I'm um, basically just waiting for the babies to get up and start my day. like a good cafe con leche early in the morning when you need it. Oh, I 
like I said, I lead a pretty boring life. Um, I'm still reviewing KL Polish's summer collection. I have Cubana on right now. I just took the picture yesterday. I'm going to post it um, on Instagram and Twitter, fit my Facebook page later on. And then I have a couple of videos to edit, which I really need to get on. And I'm super excited because this Saturday, I will be hitting my 100th YouTube video. And I'm excited. And I'm wondering, should I film a video just for my 100th video? Or should I just um, upload a pre-recorded video? I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll figure it out. I want to pre-record a video. I mean, I want to record a video for my 100th video, but I don't know yet. I'm still up in the air. It's a really busy week for me. I go back to work today from my last two days off. I work today, tomorrow, off Thursday, and we're picking up some furniture on Thursday that a family member of mine is giving me, and then I work Friday, Saturday. And I'm off on Sunday, and then the week after, I am working crazy shifts at work. So, yeah, it's going to be a busy couple of weeks, and that's why I have some pre-recorded videos for this week. So, I don't know. I might just do one for Sunday, uh, for Saturday, and just keep the two pre-recorded videos that I have and just post them. And then the two that I'm editing, just because it's going to be a crazy week and I don't know if I'm going to get to filming. So I might just film the one 100th video and then that's it. <sighs> Busy life. Today's picture day for my 12 year old and he went ahead and got himself nice and dressed and I didn't get to take a picture or vlog him before he left because he was so worried about his friends. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with him. It's just he's going through so much and I'm trying to be the best mother I can and give him enough attention and try to make him feel like he's supported because I do support him and everything but it, it's hard being just me you know my husband's away most of the time working but you know it's the woes that mom ha moms have to go through I'm sorry there's such bad lighting in here but it is cloudy outside and natural light right now <laughs> is not working and I don't really have a good lighting system here so this is just my dining room lights and yeah it is what it is but yeah, I figured I would talk to you before my babies get up and get crazy. I am going to try to record some of my babies doing the crazy stuff that they do throughout the day, um, if I remember. I'm so bad at vlogging, so I don't know. I guess I'm going to finish up my coffee, and I will see you guys later. My days consist of my babies. A whole lot of PJ Masks, my other baby, all day long. That and washing dishes, doing laundry, making sure dinner's ready, all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> all day long. I think I could probably recite every single one of these shows. Sorry about the glare, but I have to light on. Okay, next round. Hi, baby. Say hi. <laughs> Basically washing dishes, sippy cups, bottles. These are the washed ones. This is basically what I do most of the day. This is one load of laundry. Actually, we need two loads of laundry right I here. still have that load to do. I still have the uniforms to do. These boys get so dirty. And I have one in the dryer that I gotta take out and one in the washer to put in the dryer. We have moved the party upstairs because it is nap time, right? 
Say hi. And as you can see, PJ Masks. That's the new obsession right now. So, he is here. And my one year old is here. He has totally taken control of my blanket. I have this Victoria's Secret fleece blanket that I've had for like six years and he is like obsessed with it. So I'm gonna jump in the shower because this is the only time I'm gonna have a chance. So I will talk to you guys later. Soon my pretties, soon my beauties, I will be doing a makeup room tour. I have so much makeup everywhere. Just got these packages in, got some packages over there. And I'm cleaning some stuff and putting my makeup kit together. <sighs> a lot of stuff to do. But I will talk to you guys in a bit. My son just got up. My baby, my one-year-old, got up from a nap. And I'm in my bathroom getting ready to film a couple of stuff. And he is literally calling me. And growling. He was just calling me, calling his dad. <laughs> now he wants to be quiet because I put the, the, the camera on. There he goes. But he was, <laughs> he was doing it a lot more. He was saying, Mom, Dada. If you're listening really close, you can hear him go, Dada, Dada. I think he's like, I've had it. These people are ignoring me. <laughs> so I am getting ready because I have open house with my 12 year old today. And I am going to go to that. And then after that, I'm going to film my 100 video, which you guys will see on Saturday. Um, you'll see this vlog probably Monday. But yeah, I'm super, super excited. I already um, uploaded earlier today um, trying extensions out, hair extensions, for the first time, which was really, really fun, um, exciting. I love long hair. But yeah, so I'm just getting ready. I figured, you know, throw on the camera. But yeah, just doing a really quick natural look because I'm not going to get all pretty, pretty, pretty. But I don't know what's eyeshadow palette to use um i'm probably gonna dip into we'll just do this one it's the one i have out the zodiac palette because i just finished filming my second look with it and i will be uploading those videos next week i really like this palette a lot i enjoy the colors it's a nice range of colors i could do a lot of different looks so we are up and nap time is over. We are headed now to my two sons um, elementary school, Tristan and Ethan. We're going to go pick them up. And you can see I have one baby back here. You can see him. And then I have my other baby strapped in next to me. every day Monday through Friday and sorry if my hair is all frizzy on top but it is hella hot it is 95 degrees here in Florida and in the area that I'm at the um, what do you call it it's 95 degrees and then the uh, it's gonna feel like 106 they said so yes I definitely feel it my I've been out of the house and the AC for like 10 minutes and I gotta tell you the whole back of my neck is sweaty I straightened my hair a couple days ago and I've got to wash it because I've been sweating so much because of the heat out here in Florida I'm not complaining about the heat but well, you know when you want to have your hair straight and I have curly hair and I have frizz it sucks when there's heat because your hair goes from sleek to like woof and that's what's going on with me so, yeah, I mean, this is just an everyday 
occurrence, you know, my daily mommy routine. Coming to get my boys and then head home. We give them snacks. Usually I have either already cooked or I'm going to start cooking when I get home. But we have leftovers. Um, I cooked uh, a couple days ago and then a couple days before that. So I have rice, beans, steak, I have big ziti. So there's stuff there for them to eat. So I will not be cooking today. Um, I got quite a few packages in of uh, makeup and stuff that I had ordered. I'm supposed to be on a no ordering thing because I'm going to New York in October and I'm gonna be spending money at Beautycon. But you know what? I told myself when I went to IMAT in, um, in April that I wasn't gonna spend a lot of money and I spent about two to three hundred dollars um, in stuff at IMAX but I gotta tell you I mean I haven't even I don't think I've even touched any of the items that I bought at IMAX oh I did I used my entire bottle of Bioderma and I did replenish. I bought on Beautylish, I bought a pack of three because I am obsessed with Bioderma. I think it's awesome to take off your makeup, cleanse your face, tone your face, it's beautiful. But um, yeah, that's I think the only thing I used. I bought Sigma brushes. I think I bought one or two brushes. Oh no, and they gave me a free palette for being one of the first 100 to buy at Sigma. Um, it was called the Smokescreen Palette, and I did do a tutorial, I believe, or a review on that. Um, but, I mean, technically, I didn't buy that. I got it as a free gift. But the brushes from Sigma, haven't used. I bought a ton of brushes from Morphe, um, and I haven't used those yet. And I know that Morphe is getting a lot of shade right now, like a lot of shade with everything that's going on with Jaclyn Hill and um, or her vault palettes and everything, and people are just... They're just throwing shade everywhere. I mean, you know, it's a makeup brand. You know, not everyone is gonna be perfect. Not every formula is gonna be perfect. Not, you know, there are gonna be mistakes. Things happen. Same thing happened with Tarte when they did their um, Shape Tape Foundation. I mean, you cannot always expect that everything is gonna be peaches and cream and perfect. And, you know, it's just, it's stupid. And if you hear that loud, um, noise that's my air conditioner because like I told you it is hella hot but I'm kind of tired of all the beauty influencers and um, just all the comments that I've read when I've been commenting on things not pertaining to the beauty community but I read so many comments you know and I'm just like stop the negativity we need to bring back positivity we need to go back to loving makeup we need to go back to being passionate about makeup and trying new things stop being so negative yes every not everything is gonna work out for every person I mean if it was like that why would there be different things it's just so stupid so anyway that's a little mini rant um, yeah, I did get a few packages in, so I'm not, there isn't anything that's really, 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 truly out there that I want to get when I go to Gen Beauty. So I am bringing money with me, obviously, because I might spend money. I might find something. There may be something that jumps out at me. But I think I'm pretty much stocked up on so much makeup and things like that. I have a so much makeup that I haven't even tried and I'm just addicted to shopping and buying and it's not trying to get like the next new thing it's just basically reviewing and finding out what works for me the one thing that I'm probably slacking on is um, foundations and concealers I like to try out different foundations and concealers but they're expensive especially the high-end ones so, I mean, I gear more toward drugstore makeup and drugstore foundations and things like that. I am excited to try um, the new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. And I have quite a few products from NYX that I really like. 
So I might go out and buy that, I think, maybe. I don't know yet, um, but not right now, probably in the next couple weeks, before I leave to New York, probably. But um, I mean, yeah, I have to start putting, I actually started putting together my makeup kits for if I decide to, well, not, I already decided I want to do makeup on the side, but like if I get called um, to do an event, any kind of makeup, um, there are a lot of things that I do need to add into there. I need to get foundations is a big one, concealers is a big one. Um, I have a bronze, a blush and contour palette or something like that, but I do need to add some bronzers. I do have blushes and highlights and all that stuff like that, but I do need to get um, a couple more bronzers or a bronzer palette or something to that extent. And um, a highlight palette I have a blush palette so yeah it's just bronzers add a couple setting sprays I do have to get a really good moisturizer you know something that works for all skin types if you guys know of anything please please comment down below and let me know if you guys are makeup artists if you guys know um, something that works on majority of skin types I've been doing my research and stuff I'm trying to buy something affordable because like I said I don't have a lot of money and of course my children come first so that's why my kit is taking a little longer because I do need to buy at least three colors um, actually I need to buy about five colors of a matte foundation and five colors of a dewy foundation so you know so I just got my boys here's Tristan and Ethan Hi. is next to him yeah. See him. hey how was school good, good. And there's no school Monday, obviously, because they have a teacher duty day. That's what they call it. It's when the teachers, <laughs> when the teachers come in, and the kids aren't there, and they work on some uh, work for the classrooms. So that's Monday. So I will have my boys home with me, and then my little Tristan is counting down the days to the vacation when we go. <laughs> we go to New York. So it's actually much more than 13. I'm pretty sure now because remember, we're remember leaving October 11th. Yeah, right. And it's only October 14th, uh, excuse me, September 14th today. So we have about 27 days. No! <laughs> it's so funny. I, I'm pretty sure I counted three weeks. Mm, no. Well, three weeks is different. Yeah, because three weeks, but you don't count Monday because Monday's now weekend. I totally broke my nail. No! Actually, I don't know what a nail is. Oh! Sorry for the bad part. I'm trying this to look and see life. if Emmett's there. Yep, so this is my life. Now we're driving home, and then it'll be time to have a sandwich, a snack, something to drink, and then they'll relax for the rest of the day. Tristan's got weekend homework he needs to do. I ain't doing that. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing it Monday. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much and it. And I have no homework. I'll see you guys later. Now it is about 5 o'clock and we have did snacks, We've taken dinner out, we've been playing on electronics, we've gone outside and looked at our pond and everything. Now I brought the baby upstairs and I am, if you can hear her, Kathleen Lights is behind me. I am, Hello! <laughs> Hi! I am watching some tutorials on some smoky eyes because I want to start practicing my smoky eyes. I still haven't opened my packages or anything like that. I got my, if you can see, I have my boxy charm, my yes oh yes, my ipsy. I dipped into them, but I am going to do a unboxing video. So, yep, still my hair is, look at this, my hair is so, see, straight, frizzy. Ridiculous. We got the baby here. Say hi, Enzo. <laughs> and then, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
that's how my day goes on a day-to-day -day basis well today i'm not working so obviously i'm not doing a makeup look i'm not filming so i'm just relaxing i've had a really long week um some things are in motion at work right before holiday so my position might change i might go full time so i don't know what's gonna happen just yet but i am training or cross training in a few different departments so i am exhausted i needed a day off i work again tomorrow and then i'm off on sundays because sundays is the only day i can't work um because my husband has to work at his job so i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoy spending the week with me i mean my life is relatively boring i get up take kids to school come back hang out with babies then go pick up my kids from school come home i mean throughout the day i'm not just hanging out with babies i'm cooking cleaning going through um appointments schoolwork looking through emails um looking through uh like actual u.s mail because my husband loves to pile things up and basically just doing the day-to-day -day stuff looking at finances what needs to be paid you know grocery lists doing laundry sweeping mopping um washing dishes constantly washing sippy cups washing uh baby bottles i mean that's just what my life is as of now but hopefully something is in the works like i said at work and probably within a month my babies will be in daycare hopefully and then i will have um a little bit more of an active life but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty active enough with these two babies. I mean, they keep me on my toes. But yeah, um, thank you so much for your support. If you have any ideas, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Let me know what else you'd like to see from me, what you guys enjoy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. And I will see all of you beauties in my next video. Bye.